Hello guys, you are welcome back. Okay, so hope you've been having a very, very nice time. Hope you've been learning and you've been uh, improving in your craft and in your work. You can come and tell us your experience so far. Give us, give us feedbacks on how much we've been of help to you. It's going to be a very encouraging uh, statement from you. If we can get messages from you that we've been able to give you value, we will so much appreciate it. Click go to the like first uh, to the like section like this video make a comment on the comment section subscribe to our channel it's going to really really mean a lot to us all right so moving forward we are in module nine once again welcome back okay so i'm so excited about what we are going to be learning in this particular video because this is this is going to make your workflow your workload so easy it's going to make things happen for you so easy at this point in time considering that we are heading towards the ending part of the year considering that we are ending towards the ending part of the year and uh you are going to get busy with a lot of events especially as photographers they are going to have a lot of images to edit and do all of that at once and it's trust me it can be very 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 tedious i know how much i've always wished there is a way i can just you know do everything automatically and have my pictures done that is what we are going to be looking at today we are bringing that solution to your doorstep all right so that brings us to introducing you to actions for automating repetitive tasks batch processing of multiple images for efficiency and creating and using custom presets i'm going to just do that one in a jiffy but we are focusing our attention on introducing actions to you and doing that in such a way that it's going to be an automated uh, automated procedure. You do not have to do it every time. You just have to set it once and it will start running throughout your workflow. It can do 1,000 images for you. It can do 500 images, 50 images, 100 images. The speed of it is going to depend on the capacity of your own laptop or your desktop or your iPad, whatever you are using. But trust me, this is going to really, really be of help for you. All right, so without much, uh, that much wasting of your time, let's head straight into Photoshop and tackle this thing called Batch Edit and Export. All right, so we are in Photoshop. We are going to be making use of this picture. Uh, because of the purpose of the class, I wouldn't bother uh, retouching this one. I wouldn't bother retouching this one. Of course, nobody is going to zoom your, zoom your photo books or your photo albums because it's already in a paper form. So the major idea is this. So you can do run a batch edit, run a batch uh, processing on your images, become creative about it and use it for your own personal works. Use it on your on your images for, any, for anything you would want to use that image for. It's going to work for you. So without wasting time, let's get straight into it. So when you come into Photoshop, I already had it recorded, but I'm going to delete the action so that we'll start everything from the scratch all right so we are right here in photoshop i believe by now you already know how to bring your images into photoshop the first thing you are going to be doing when you come into photoshop is that you are going to be creating your action okay so let's assume our action is our action uh panel is nowhere to be found let's assume this is how our photoshop is so the question is how do you get your actions you go to windows go to action so it's going to load up here drag it and place it somewhere just stack it somewhere for organization purposes now create a group this is where you create the group and name it batch or you can decide to name it whatever you want to name it but i'm naming my batch so i can remember so this group is going to contain every batch action that you are going to be using that was why we have to create a new group then create a batch action so call this one batch two maybe i'm going to call it batch one batch one then press record so your action is already recording your action is already recording so from here till you say stop every single thing you do in photoshop is going to be recorded every single thing so you have to be very careful from this point not to click on the wrong things because it's going to affect your end result is going to affect your end result so having selected the batch we will head straight into camera raw go to filter go to camera raw so we are going to be touching the saturations change the uh hdr a little so open open your basic sliders i would have loved to manually do all the changes but the problem is 
all your pictures may not require the same type of uh, uh, exposure changes. So I'm going to use auto so that whenever the batch starts going, any image that comes into camera raw, camera raw is going to do it automatically. So Photoshop is going to use its AI to decide the best exposure quality to give to the image and apply to it. That was why as well we are using auto. So scroll up, you're going to see your auto here. So go to auto. It's going to do everything automatically for you. So at this point, this is what Photoshop is telling us that we need. Maybe you can drop, don't drop anything, don't drop anything because trust me, you remember you are working on multiple images. So dropping anything now might affect your image. Just leave it the way Photoshop did it. Then scroll down, increase your vibrance a little, just like this a little. Then go and increase your, go to cal calibration, go to blue primary, just increase it a little to make it a little bit more saturated. You can go to your noise where, you can go to your noise where, go to details, increase your noise reduction, increase your sharpening just a little to make the picture look smooth. Then increase this one a little more. Then you can zoom in to look at the image. I think we are good with this. Of course, you may need to fix all of this if you are uh, doing personal portraits. But if it's going to be a bad stuff, I don't think you need that. So just increase the noise a little and we are good to go. Go back to your basic. Check if there is any changes you want to give. If there is none, we are good to go. You might want to, you might consider dropping down your texture a little and your clarity a little. So the reason I'm doing this is so that I will have the most, the uh, the best smoothness I can get from camera roll. And I think I like what I have already. So press OK. We'll have that recorded and set. We'll have that recorded and set. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to save and remove the image we are good to go save and remove the image of course if you have other plugins you can apply to your image this is where you have to put it when you are done go and save your image so i'm going to be saving mine with Control alternate s it's going to load up like this then it's already in jpeg format so i'm going to say save so when i say save it's going to save the image for me press ok allow it to save after saving you need to close it press Control W is closing. So just say no because later versions of Photoshop will want to give you a backup. So just say no so that you have your original image is retained while the action is running. So say no and we are good to go. So we need to go and off the action. So let's just open another image so it can allow us uh come to this place. Close the action. So after closing your action, delete this open. Delete the open so the action stops at close. The reason I had to come back is so that I can have access to my action panel. We do not need uh, opening the action, so I had to delete that particular slider. So we are halfway done. We are halfway done. So let's get straight into work. So let's just close this or just leave it like that. Go to file, keep it at the batch like this. Go to file, go to automate, go to automate, go to batch. So when you come into batch, you need to follow the settings exactly the same way I'm going to do it. So set your batch. Go to set. If it's not in batch, batch is the action we already used. We set this is the group we set here called batch. So this is the action groups. Make sure you are selecting batch. Then in the action itself, make sure you are selecting batch one. Make sure you are selecting batch one. The source should be folder. If you are seeing any other thing that is not it, it should be folder. Then come and say choose. So source simply means we, where am I going to collect the pictures you would want me to use? Where am I going to collect the pictures you want me to use? So go to that uh, choose and it's going to open up for you. All right. So go to this is where my own pictures are. I'm going to say select folder. So it's already it has already recorded that that is where the pictures are. So I'm going to go to destination. Make sure that folder is selected and say choose so when you say choose you are going to locate the folder you want your actions to be your batched image to be saved at i already selected mine before it's called batch and edited so i'm going to say select folders at this point it's good to go so press ok and allow photoshop do its thing it's going to keep bringing them in and removing them so the this process the speed of this process is going to depend on the capacity of your work station so let's wait for it and allow it to do the job
All right, so uh, Photoshop is done. Let's go and check out what we have. Let's just place them somewhere inside here and look at it generally. All right, so let's open them one by one. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. This look at how fine the pictures are already looking. Look at how fine the pictures are already looking. Very fast, and we are good to go. Very fast, and we are good to go. Let's go and look at all of them side by side and see what we have. Let's just paste it back here. All right, so okay, so let's start from this one. Okay, so this is good. So this is the after. This is the after. This is the before. 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 Amazing result. Try it out. Go on with your pictures. This can run in 1000 images. Try it out. Give us a, your comment on the comment section. Let us know what you think about this process. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.